We are live in downtown Gotham where a deadly new drug has hit the streets. Nicknamed Viper, users of this mystery drug acquire great strength and a euphoric sense of power, but only for a few brief hours. Then, without exception, they die a horrible death. It's really quite remarkable. Viper somehow activates unused DNA. The body starts to burn calcium from the skeletal system as fuel, hence the victim's cravings for milk and cheese. They're desperately trying to replace the missing calcium, but they can't consume enough. Essentially, their bones crumble, then they suffocate and die. Have you seen anything like this before? No, nobody has. Totally new. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to be. No new reports for a few hours now. Maybe they're done. Maybe they ran out of the stuff. I doubt it. Who would put this on the street? Why? They're not even selling it. They're giving it away. That's how you create demand. For a drug that kills you that fast? Well, first it makes you king of the world. There'll be takers. There'll be mayhem, that's for sure, but it's scale on scale mayhem. If we keep the decent citizens indoors for a couple of weeks, let the scumbags have at it, voila, the end of crime. Yeah, that's a nice thought, but no. This stuff seems hard to make, no? Oh, it takes a high level of technical sophistication. A state-of-the-art lab made this stuff. OK, so who has the biggest and best lab in the city? The best is Wellzine. But this is not them. They're a subsidiary of Wayne Enterprises, a multi-billion dollar corporation. Why would they be doing this? I don't know, but we might as well start at the top. Maybe I should hire that guy to take the casino. Maybe you should start some Viper grower pair. Either way, I want that casino taken. 